So how many people here have been to uh, ButtCon before? something to say is free to get up and pitch a talk. As always, there's more sessions than, than you can make it to. Yeah. Uh, we got a lot of them on video, though, thanks to, to you in large part, actually. We got a couple streams on video and uh, audio from uh, uh, Clint Savage. You know, we're looking for people who are interested in, in, in standing in front of a, a few dozen people, maybe a hundred people in some cases, and just really say, you know, this is what we do, this is the fun stuff that we do, and if you give even 5% of your time, you're gonna see huge returns. There's a lot of really, really good developer talent that's at FUDCON, and we wanted to make sure that they had the opportunity to get their ideas out there. Suddenly you've got people who may say, well, I just do internationalization, going, hey, I could, you know, use that technology, that component, that ideology in a different way, and make my life easier and better. We're using this as a uh, time to get together and really collaborate in person, which gives us a little higher bandwidth to get things done. Um, something we've been talking about for months, for instance, yesterday we finally got ambassador kits put together, which is something that Clint started months ago. And a lot of it was just, you know, we need to physically sit down with all these pieces of, uh, of swag and, and shirts and media and stuff and, and put it all together and see how big it is. How much are we gonna to have to ship? I had a couple of sessions that I talked about this time. They went really well, that was great. But the other part of FUDCON is the Hackfest. And I've learned that so many of the other groups that are doing things depend on me and our team to do stuff. So I pretty much just plan on being a ping pong ball and bouncing around. Ian Weller's trying to fulfill multiple roles right now. He's going around trying to bribe people with cameras to take pictures for a picture book that uh, the marketing team's trying to get together. He's also trying to find people he can braid into uh, working on the wiki and get the wiki renaming project uh, going and actually completed. You really benefit a um, hundred million other people by providing them with you know resources to get the media to get these sort of sort of things going, and that's why I do it. It's because it's fun, and I can benefit a lot of other people just by doing simple little things. Val Henson came from the West Coast and did a talk on file systems in the kernel, what the future is, what we're planning on using in Fedora, and what we're planning on using in the future, and how it all, it's all going to fit together. And I believe it was one of the most well-attended sessions here. It's incredible to uh, create a relationship between business, between fun, between open source, and uh, it's very, very a great thing to see our technology in Fedora because the best people, best guy, the most professionalist people is working on Fedora. Is a very top level, top quality guys. We get a lot of people even from Red Hat offices that aren't necessarily together a lot so we get to talk about what's coming up next, what new features people are working on, how they can be integrated and how even people who don't normally work on the features can help out with their development and get it going. One of the things that was most exciting to me is Moksha. The technology that we're building, we're basically using best of breed existing open source architecture technologies and we're taking those and making a very solid foundation so that it's easy to build custom applications that hook into what we already have in our existing Fedora infrastructure. Enjoyed one on Asterisk just a few minutes ago. Uh, interesting to hear about what's coming down the pipe in terms of kernels. Uh, GNOME desktop, possibly uh, desktop without X. Extremely cool. There's a lot of work around these, this kind of step, uh, these kind of things, and uh, each time you see something new, you can learn something new not just for your work, but also for your own uh, cultures, and um, it's, it's great.